My name is Paweł Szymański and uh, uh, today I would like to present the results of my performance characterization experiments that uh, I did with my colleague Manasi Deval. Uh, so let's look on the uh, agenda of the presentation. Uh, first we'll start with some background about TLS. Next I will talk about test uh, setup and uh, uh, also give you results of the performance characterization and we'll have some short summary at the end. So starting with uh, uh, some basic knowledge about uh, TLS. So this is uh, uh, most commonly used uh, uh, network protocol that provides privacy and data integrity. Uh, it runs on uh, on top of uh, layer three uh, protocols like TCP or uh, UDP and uh, consists of uh, two sub protocols. The first one is uh, the handshake protocol with, uh, which deals with uh, negotiating uh, the, the security parameters uh, of the TLS connection like crypto algorithms, uh, encryption keys, and things like that. The other uh, sub protocol is a record protocol, and uh, it is responsible for fragmenting the application data into records, protecting them with uh, crypto algorithm, and then transmitting uh, the encrypted data over uh, transport protocol. And uh, uh, TLS supports uh, multiple uh, cryptographic algorithm, but uh, uh, in this presentation and in, in general in my uh, in my experiments, uh, uh, I focused on uh, AES GCM uh, encryption uh, because mm, this is uh, the algorithm that uh, could be. Uh, improved by using uh, special AESNI instructions available on uh, Intel uh, x86 uh, CPUs. Uh, so uh, here you can uh, see uh, two uh, options or two, two possibilities to, to implement uh, TLS. The first one I call user space TLS and uh, uh, in this uh, option all the TLS functionality is implemented in a TLS uh, library in user space hence the name uh, user space TLS and uh, the second uh, option is uh, KTLS or kernel TLS where the handshake protocol is still implemented in TLS library, but the record protocol is implemented in, inside uh, a kernel. And uh, also the TLS uh, record protocol implementation uh, uses a crypto algorithm uh, module to, to perform actual data encryption and uh, decryption. Uh, when, you, when we uh, look into a typical HTTP uh, server uh, implementation, uh, uh, the data flow when handling uh, HTTP uh, GET uh, request uh, looks like in this uh, uh, slide. So basically, uh, after receiving the uh, the, the uh, uh, HTTP GET uh, request. The server uh, sends a, a file read uh, syscall uh, to request kernel to read the, the file uh, from storage device. Um, so the file content is first copied to the kernel to, to the page cache inside kernel and next it, it is copied into buffers in the user space. Then the TLS library performs the cryptographic operation and the encrypted 
data is sent from uh, user space buffer to kernel using uh, socket write uh, syscall. And finally, it, it gets uh, sent to uh, network uh, interface. Uh, so this is, this is what happens in case of user space TLS. And uh, uh, in, in, in case of kernel TLS, uh, uh the only difference uh, is that uh, uh, the data uh, is not encrypted in user space it is still transferred to uh, to buffers in user space but it's not uh, uh, encrypted in user space but it is uh, uh, sent to uh, kernel still using uh, socket write syscall and then it is uh, again uh, encrypted uh, and uh, sent to the network interface. However, with uh, kernel TLS, there is uh, another option possible, uh, which I call uh, a kernel TLS send file flow. So in this case, uh, the HTTP server uses a send file uh, system call, and that this system call requests the kernel to read uh, data from the storage device and sends uh, a content of a file in uh, TLS or in general you know, uh, TCP. Uh, connection and uh, as you can see the data is not uh, uh, transferred to user space so it is uh, read from storage device to uh, uh, page cache inside uh, kernel next the TLS uh, module inside kernel encrypts uh, the data and uh, the, en the encrypted uh, data is uh, sent over network interface. So in fact, we have uh, three options uh, possible to, to implement uh, TLS. The first one uh, is user space. Uh, the second one is uh, KTLS with uh, write syscall. And uh, the third one is uh, KTLS with send file syscall. And uh, uh, in our uh, characterization, performance characterization experiments, uh, we were focused on uh, comparing uh, these uh, three scenarios, th these three implementation options with uh, uh, two uh, uh, scenarios. The first scenario was uh, something we named uh, simple web server. So in this case, uh, uh, HTTP server uh, sends uh, files uh, uh, of size between one kilobyte and 10 megabytes. And uh, the, the number of uh, TLS connection is quite moderate. It's uh, one, we, we picked 100 connections. Uh, each connection sends HTTP GET requests uh, back to back. The second uh, scenario that we measured uh, was a, um, a simulation of media streaming, uh, similar to MPEG Dash protocol, although we didn't use uh, actual MPEG Dash protocol. So the difference here is that uh, the file size was. Uh, fixed to one megabyte, uh, there was significantly uh, more uh, TLS connections. We used 10,000 connections and uh, uh, for each uh, connection, the HTTP request, uh, requests were, were sent with some uh, time gap or time uh, window. Yeah? There was uh, one to five second uh, space uh, uh, between uh, each uh, HTTP GET request sent over a single connection. 
Mm. Uh, in terms of uh, hardware setup, uh, uh, we used two machines, uh, one with the uh, HTTP server, uh, or one uh, playing the role of HTTP server, the other playing the role of a HTTP uh, client. And uh, both of them were equipped, equipped with uh, Intel Xeon uh, Gold uh, uh, CPU Skylake uh, generation with 32 uh, cores and with uh, 384 gigabyte of uh, DDR memory. And the machines were connected with 100 gigabit Ethernet uh, connection uh, using uh, uh, Intel 100, uh, uh, 800 uh, series uh, network controllers. Uh, the BIOS configuration was uh, modified to basically disabled to, to disable all the features that uh, may uh, uh, in, or, uh, cause problem with the uh, uh, repeatability of results so things like hyper threading c states p states and turbo are disabled uh, and uh, in terms of uh, software configuration, we were using um, Ubuntu with uh, uh, Linux kernel 5.1.0 uh, 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 and with uh, obviously KTLS enabled and also AESNI uh, crypto driver. So this is the driver that is uh, uh, that supports uh, AES GCM um, uh, algorithm uh, using uh, AES and I uh, instructions. Uh, similarly, the OpenSSL library, so the, the user space library, uh, was also compiled with the AES and I uh, support enabled. On the server side, we uh, had uh, Nginx uh, as an HTTP server application with a special KTLS uh, send file patch. Yeah. So it, it was a patch that allows us to, send, to uh, use uh, KTLS with a send file. Uh, at least at that time, the official version was not uh, supporting such a combination. And on the client side, we, uh, we were using WRK uh, traffic generator, HTTP uh, traffic generator. Uh, uh, we set the TLS configuration uh, to TLS 1.2 with the uh, max record size 16 kilobytes and uh, 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 the crypto algorithm uh, was AES 128 uh, uh, with uh, GCM. Uh, the, and uh, we also enabled uh, persistent connections in uh, HTTP to avoid um, the overhead uh, uh, required to perform connection establishment and both, both TCP and TLS uh, connection establishment and handshake. So basically we were measuring only the performance of the record protocol, not the uh, handshake protocol. Um, and uh, in this uh, 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 chart, you can see a comparison of uh, uh, throughput uh, uh, for the simple web server scenario. So the dark blue uh, bar is always 100% it, and it's the, the performance of user space and uh, uh, the, all the other are the KTLS write and KTLS send file. So uh, you can see that uh, uh, for smaller file sizes like one kilobyte or four kilobytes, uh, the KTLS and especially KTLS send file 
performance it is much lower. Yes, it's up to 40% lower comparing to uh, user space TLS, but uh, with uh, 64 kilobytes uh, and uh, uh, above uh, um, the uh, KTLS sent file uh, performance uh, uh, is higher than user space. So this higher performance was something that uh, uh, we expected, uh, but uh, the lower performance for uh, uh, smaller, smaller file sizes and especially lower by 40% was uh, a surprise, definitely a surprise uh, for us. Um, so we did some uh, investigation uh, and uh, uh, came to mm, two conclusions or two, two reasons why the uh, KTLS is uh, lower performance than um, user space for smaller files. So the first reason is uh, how the HTTP response is sent by the HTTP server. Um, so when the uh, HTTP uh, response uh, must be sent, it consists of two parts, the response header and the response payload. And for, in case of a uh, send file uh, uh, flow, uh, the HTTP server must first prepare the response uh, header in the user space buffer and use write syscall uh, to transfer um, this buffer content to, to the network stack. And next, uh, it is using a send file syscall to send HTTP response payload uh, from file uh, located in the file system. Uh, so in, um, as you can see, you know, it's uh, two, uh, first of all, there are two syscalls, not one. And uh, uh, the other reason is that, uh, okay, this, uh, uh, there is still some overhead of transferring data from user space. If the files are, are um, small, then, uh, the relative amount of data that, which is sent uh, from user space buffer is uh, uh, higher. Uh, and uh, the second uh, reason uh, for this uh, lower efficiency, uh, KTLS send file lower efficiency for smaller files is uh, um, the way how ASNI uh, driver and uh, TLS uh, modules uh, interact with uh, each other. So basically, when ESNI, so the ESNI driver uh, implements uh, an algorithm uh, called uh, Karatsuba algorithm, and it uh, precomputes some uh, uh, values, some you know heavy computation values. Uh, uh, which are which then can be reused for the entire uh, TLS uh, uh, connection lifetime. Uh, however, uh, when TLS module uh, uh, calls crypto driver, uh, it's there. There is no mechanism to. Uh, uh, let's say, save this uh, and uh, provide, uh, uh, again, this uh, uh, pre-computed uh, values uh, to the crypto driver. So basically with uh, each uh, uh, encryption request sent from TLS to the crypto driver, the driver uh, pre-computes these uh, values uh, again and again. So they are only reused for uh, single single uh, TLS uh, record, uh, while in uh, user space implementation, 
uh, these pre-computed values are reused for entire uh, TLS connection lifetime. So that's uh, that's the the problem. And again, uh, um, it's uh, more visible if the uh, TLS records are uh, lower size, which happens for uh, small file sizes sent over HTTP uh, connection. Uh, the second uh, scenario that uh, uh, we looked into uh, is media streaming scenario. And in this case, uh, instead of uh, measuring uh, throughput with uh, maximum CPU utilization, we did something uh, different. Basically, we uh, kept the throughput on uh, on a uh, uh, on the same uh, level uh, with uh, uh, 70 gigabit uh, per second or 30 gigabit per second. So, so we, we had two options. The first one was uh, with uh, files sent from TNPFS from memory and the other option was uh, with uh, files uh, uh, transferred from NVMe uh, device and uh, uh, we measured in this case we, we measured the CPU utilization and uh, memory bandwidth uh, utilization and uh, here you can see that the results of uh, CPU utilization so there is no big surprise uh, the user space uh, efficiency in terms of uh, CPU utilization was uh, lower between 16 and 20% uh, percent, uh, uh, lower. And uh, this was something we expected based on the results with uh, uh, simple web server uh, scenario. Yeah? Because uh, for uh, bigger file sizes, and in this case that the file sizes were around one megabyte. Uh, basically the user space uh, TLS performance was uh, lower comparing to KTLS, uh, both write and uh, send file. Uh, however, uh, the memory bandwidth uh, measurements, uh, uh, which uh, you can see now, were um, uh, a surprise again for us. Uh, the, basically, we expected since the, you know the, the both the KTLS uh, send file eliminates some memory copy operations. It eliminates transfer of data into user space. We we expected memory bandwidth utilization to be lower for KTLS send file. Um, but uh, uh, it was the other way around, is the KTLS uh, send file and also KTLS write uh, generated uh, higher memory bandwidth. Um, we suspect that uh, uh, you know, this is uh, mainly related to the fact that uh, in case of KTLS, the implementation is uh, um, let's see, uh, scattered among uh, three different uh, pieces of code. Yes, there is a, a TLS library uh, in user space with which uh, uh, still still transfers uh, the data in, uh, from in the application. Then there is a uh, the KTLS module and uh, uh, crypto module in, in kernel. And since this uh, implementation is uh, uh, put in three different uh, places, uh, the, the cache efficiency uh, is lower. Yeah, so it, it basically uh, uh, 
generates uh, more uh, cash pollution and generates more uh, traffic to uh, memory. Um, uh, so to summarize, summarize my uh, presentation uh, in uh, uh, our experiments, we focused on uh, three uh, implementation options for TLS, the user space TLS, uh, KTLS uh, write and uh, KTLS send file. And in the simple web server scenario, the KTLS send file provides uh, highest performance for files uh, of 64 kilobyte size and above and for lower uh, sizes uh, the user space TLS uh, provides better performance uh, and in the multimedia streaming scenario uh, the KTLS send file and KTLS write uh, provide lower CPU utilization but uh, uh, higher memory bandwidth uh, utilization uh, that's all what I wanted to present. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you. That was uh, somewhat enlightening performance results. Uh, I don't see any questions at this point. Um, do you have any further comments on that? Okay, so there's a uh, comment on the chat. Uh, GCM AES encrypt goes through KMalloc and scatter walk copy chunk cause. Uh, so yes, the, the part about uh, the complexity of the current implementation certainly was uh, interesting and um, I guess there's an opportunity there to uh, clean that up and improve that. Okay, so uh, with that, let's uh, proceed to our uh, third talk.